David Octavio Gandel. I'm here at the Miami Frost Museum in downtown Miami, right before the big game. I'm here representing IBM TV. IBM TV presented today the DDA Tech Talk, and one of them was Mark Blount, who actually was an NBA player and got drafted and then went overseas, came back. But, you know, we had an amazing panel discussion, Mark, and we were talking yes. about certain things, but there's things that we are not able to discuss because of the timing no, and because we have four people on the panel. Right. Um, and I love the fact that you're talking about community. I love mm. the fact that you're talking about knowing the person in the tech world. Right. That was a great thing, a great comment that the, the person said, oh, a lot of people don't look at people, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a people person, mm -hmm. you know, as someone that uh, gets to speak in front of thousands and do like that is always about the person. I love sharing my story. I love to hear people's stories. And I think what you do in the tech world and, and this, this is a venture capital, mm -hmm. am I calling it right? No, real estate. Real estate. Real, real, real so estate. in the real estate that you do, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that it's all about the community. Now you mentioned one thing and you were talking about housing, right? Mm -hmm. And you were talking about these buildings in downtown Miami and giving three floors of the housing to people that are not basically right. at that level, but right. has like a, like I guess in New York, they used to have that rent. Of that course. was a rent control. Rent control. Exactly. So I was, is that what you were trying to describe? Is that a, um, a good way to kind of give an analogy where people can understand? Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, I was I was looking into um, you know part of the development deals, and uh, there's some uh, there's some uh, some benefits that the um, the cities that can that yes. can give us on the development side. Um, you know, now that everybody wants to be back uh, living by the seaside and the water and want their views, so now everybody's going back pushing other uh, the other. Um, uh, 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 individuals back out west so you know and then they still got to come back east to come to work mm -hmm. you know that's where the, the, the better jobs are so now it's uh, you know instead of losing them to the um, uh, you know to the western side of town to being able to uh, give them opportunity through that um, that benefit and uh, also a controlled uh, uh, um, uh, action from um, a developer slash uh, um, a property manager like me to uh, to, to give them incentives to stay in town. Now you play for the Heat, mm -hmm. and you live in Miami right now, or yes, I do. Okay, yeah. so so you know, I, I, people always ask me. It's like, no, you like South Beach? I love South Beach. Of South Beach to me is peace. Of course, uh, people think different things in South Beach, but to yeah. me, South Beach is just peace. I love coming home. I cross that 395 bridge, <laughs> and it's like it's yeah. like it's like yes, uh, yes, yes, I can't yes. wait to go yeah. home. Yeah. So you know, there's so much about South Beach, and there's so much mm -hmm. about Miami that people don't know. Downtown Bayfront, everything like that, and and people just need to go. You need to learn about Miami. Miami, but I'm yeah. glad you're here. Yeah. I know you played for the Heat for a few years. You yes. share with me. Um, you know what is with all these amazing, uh, I guess, local heroes? Because I think right. Miami is one of those things that we make our right. players heroes, okay. right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you look at Haslam. Yeah. Right. right. Still there, right? right. He's still playing. Right. Um, you know those kind of things. How was that experience uh, to walk in? And, and how did they treat you? I guess, and, and how was it? No, everybody was lovely. Everybody was lovely. Everybody was spot on. But it was still, for me as an individual, and uh, the body work I created before I got there was uh, it was making sure I just stay consistent with who I am and uh, bring what I've uh, what I've been doing over the years to, to stay and be qualified in the NBA to the team. So you know, it wasn't more about. Um, uh, you know, it wasn't about more about the superstars that were on the team or the, or the um, you know, the, the great uh, Miami, uh, um, you know, uh, veterans. It was yeah. more about uh, me focusing on me and what I need to do every day to, uh, uh, to be successful on the team. Well, I tell you, it's like, all I heard is a class out organization yes. from mm -hmm. top to bottom. Yes. And, uh, you know, and you speak very highly from what yes. I listened to yes. about them. Yes. So did you get into the real estate part of it? During or after? Um, a little bit during, but I was just doing my due diligence uh, uh, during that period of time while I was playing. Like I said, it was just uh, you know being able to do everything what I'm doing now and trying to, to play be you know doable. But um, you know you definitely need uh, you somebody trustworthy and uh, to be doing that. Um, and I'm sure that uh, some guys are doing that now. For me, I like to be hands on, so I want to know what's going on. I want to be able to to say. 
um, you know, like I do now, I know everybody's job, I know everybody needs to be doing, so when I ask for something, I probably already know it, but I'm just asking for it yeah. anyway. <laughs> yeah. We need confirmation. Exactly. Affirmation. Exactly. Uh, you yeah. know, when it comes to money, you need confirmation exactly. affirmation all the time. Exactly. Uh, you yeah. know, everybody knows the real estate market in Miami right. is right. never bad. Exactly. There's always something good. Right. Uh, any, any, any other things you would like to share with our audience today about uh, what you're doing in Miami and, and what you look forward to doing? Oh, well, you know, as we, as we are growing, expanding, and Spirit Capital Group is uh, um, uh, doing the, uh, uh, some acquisitions and developing uh, in the uh, in, in Miami. We also want to go, you know, give back and uh, and um, be able to uh, help uh, families out who are uh, not able to, uh, you know, afford uh, some of the um, the higher rents. And uh, we're looking at a space as well. On the philanthropic side, and we also look at uh, you know helping families um, um, you know provide groceries uh, for the household for the week. You know we're looking at as well. So you know we'll we'll, we'll grow spare capital and then we'll also uh, give back as well. On that. So I'm listening to you, and like another question comes up. Did you? This every I have a nonprofit because mm -hmm. of what I went through, right? right? And I always share with people right. we all have a passion for something. Exactly. Uh, so why why the passion for this? It was a it was a part of your background, or, or I, I don't know your whole story, mm -hmm. so please forgive me. Mm -hmm. Is there a part of your background? No, no, no. It's just why, um, why why that passion for that? It's it's it, it's there. I see it. I see it. Uh, I see it. Um, just going to. Uh, just going to my son's school, I see it going to the grocery store, I see it going to, uh, going to, uh, um, to Starbucks, I just see it, uh, you know, I just see the, uh, the stress and the, uh, and the anxiety that, um, you know, uh, uh, that's in our communities and, uh, you know, um, you know, some people just don't know how to ask for help, and some people just uh, need just need the help. So, uh, you know, we we will we will focus on some of those uh, initiatives. Hey, Amen. Well, you've been listening to Mark Blount, an excellent NBA player, right here in Miami. I love it. Miami, yes. he's staying here. He's doing great things in the community. Yes. Uh, he's going to continue to help the community. And uh, again, Mark, I look forward to sharing my story with you yes. at our own time. Yes. And, and maybe, you know, crossing paths. You never know. Definitely. So, Definitely. again, for IBM TV, my name is David Octavio Gandel, and this is Mark Blount. God bless you guys. Take care.